Good morning. This is my first barbecue competition. It is about 12.30 in the a.m. I'm out here at Briggs Woods, out here to the clubhouse. I just found out about this competition three days ago. Why am I out here so early? Because I have a 15 and a half pound brisket that I have to cook. And in order to have it done in time, I have to get out here now. Am I going to be drinking a lot of coffee? Yes. Am I going to be tired? Probably. Am I going to nod off? It's possible, but I hope not. This means a lot to me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to win or lose. The entrance fee wasn't very much. It's not about the money. It's about just getting out of here and just cooking and just showing everybody what I can do. I'm already out here, and somebody else has already got their rig out here. They ain't out here to buy it, but I'm going to see I'm going to have a neighbor. So, but that's okay. So, we'll go through things. I make videos when I can. Um, I ain't gonna show you what I put in my brisket rub or nothing, but uh, y'all have already seen my smoker and how I run and everything else. But every now and again, I'll show you pictures of the brisket. Um, I'm doing brisket and loin, um, so wish me luck, and we will see you around. And this is what happens after all the work. First place. So what makes a good cooker? Well, a number of different things. As you can see, I took first place in brisket, and I also took second place in pork loin. Um, pretty proud of myself um, and I, I did end up falling asleep for about an hour my competitive neighbor he uh, woke me up and first thing I did was I didn't even ask what time it was I just looked over my gauge and seen how much it had dropped and I knew I'd been out for about an hour so needless to say though everything turned out great um, the judges loved my food um, pork loin on the other hand I could have done a little bit better I'll honestly say that there was people out there who he had better pork loin than I did. Um, but uh, it's one of those things that uh, sometimes it just happens that way. Um, excuse me just a second. nasty habit of mine, I need to quit. Um, needless to say, you know, I had fun. Um, just a small little town cook-off, but uh, definitely going to do it again. Uh, next year they're talking about being KCBS sanctioned, which is cool. So, um, needless to say, uh, Thank you to everybody who's been uh, subscribing and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. Thanks to you, Jeff. Thank you. You know, you're you're great, you know. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Jeff at Craig Machine Works. He, uh, he has some great videos out there. And uh, it's really it's what gave me the bug, as he calls it. And, uh, well, Jeff, this... This brisket, first place brisket, you know what? You're the honorary first place holder, as far as I'm concerned. You may not have been there, but you gave me the inspiration. Alright, so, well, this will be all for now, and um, we will uh, catch up with you later. We'll be doing some more cooking or something here. Um, and that's it. So, this is High Tech Redneck Barbecue.
Okay, everybody. This here is the one, the only. This is Candy. She's my black lab. She's about five years old. She's got a mind of her own, but... Yep. She's my puppy. I want to show everybody my puppy. She wants to say hi, so... Say hi, Candy. Say hello. Hello, YouTube. Hi. Oh, she's camera shy now. I see how it is. Candy. Hey. Candlass. Hey, not head. See, this is what she does. She acts like a little priss sometimes. She'll put her nose in the air and just say she wants just attention. But she's a good dog, though. Yes. If we could find a way, I'd make her the mascot of the high tech redneck barbecue. But see, that's what I'm talking about. See, her nose is way up in the air. See, yep, she's a little press. Say, how wow, yo, tub. Hey, how wow. <laughs> yes. You're a good puppy. She has her little problems, but we love her, so. Just want to show everybody my dog. So. Well. See you later. Say bye. Bye, Candy. Bye.